Years after a project began capturing pain and perseverance in Durham, it is finally complete. WNCN's Justin Quisenberry shows us what it looks like and the takeaway for the Bull City. I think it's important to kind of capture the people who make up a place. Justin Cook spent the past 10 years doing just that, capturing the faces of Durham like Jocelyn Sims, who he first met a decade ago when he snapped this photo at a vigil against violence after her son Ray was murdered. We first brought you their story earlier this year. They didn't have the right to take them from me like this. <laughs> and they don't know who, and I don't know who, and I don't know why. I just want my baby back. <laughs> oh, God, I'm back. Slide it out. Cook became a shoulder to lean on, as close as family. The best moments are the ones that happen when the camera's not in your face, and just you should just live in them. Still, he continued to photograph the journey of Sims, her family, and others in a project documenting people affected by violence and mass incarceration in the Bull City. Of course, didn't really know then what it was turning into. The project has turned into exhibits, including here at Through This Lens Gallery and through a magazine-style book called Made in Durham. There's comfort in knowing that there's a physical product. A bittersweet resolution to a project the freelancer started as a college student. It's just frustrating that like moments like this exist. The moments that are in here, the, uh, the deaths, the depression, the grief. But also a sense of hope shown through Sim's stand against violence. And we got to stop going to these cemeteries and see our little children. And stories of progression, including a man named Richard. He exemplifies a lot of the plight of a lot of young men in Durham and in America who struggle after being incarcerated. Lives captured through a lens for others to see. I hope that they'll see that there's been a lot of loss here in Durham through the years for a variety of reasons, but also there's a lot of resilience too. It's, it's hard to stop the human spirit. In part two of my story, hear from Jocelyn Sims, a woman who Cook became close with over these past 10 years. She talks about why the photo project is more important now than even a decade ago. That's tomorrow night. Justin Quisenberry, WNCN News.